During air raids in the autumn of 1940, the area around Snow Hill Station was targeted by German aircraft. One of the bombs fell, not the other side of this wall at the station, but on Livery Street here at the junction with Cox Street. And this had devastating effect on the building which was here, which was a factory, a sponge baking factory. Many of the local people from the houses nearby were sheltering in its basement. Two men who were standing outside immediately ran down the road to Kenyon Street Police Station to get help. It was there that two policemen came rushing to the scene. So when they attended, they basically started digging away from the outside. Um, they were aware that the people were alive inside because people were digging, trying to dig themselves out, basically. Uh, and eventually the met and a small hole was made and it allowed a few of the people inside to escape. Uh, the officer subsequently tried to attempt further rescue of persons inside uh, by climbing into the hole uh, itself, trying to rescue them and, and free certainly two men that were known to be trapped. But I think it's worth noting that throughout the whole of this, that the gas mains have been fractured, mm. the water mains have been fractured. So there was that danger of being overcome by gas, the coal gas as it was in that time, very lethal. And also the drowning as well. And it's reported that the fire service at the time were having to pump this shelter out and to allow the rescue to take place. Both men were subsequently awarded commendations for their bravery. After three days of digging through the debris, 21 bodies were found in the basement. The names of those people have been included on the Tree of Life Civilian War Memorial in the Bullring. The youngest was just four years old and three people were over 70. A sad reminder of the events of 80 years ago.